We begin tonight with Lee Cavill of Denver, who is a scientist by training and a recycler by habit. Picking up trash, in fact, is what led her to the art she makes today, designed from discarded packaging and other seemingly useless materials. Cavill, whose work is featured at the gallery Artists on Santa Fe, says she hopes people are drawn to the enviro-friendly message as well as the whimsical nature of her creations. I started quilting about 25 years ago, so the entire time I did research, I was also quilting. I have a background in marine biology, and I worked in neuroscience for 20 years. I started deciding I was going to be an artist after I retired. I have jellyfish, and there's my marine biology right there. This is a combination of trash, so it's wrapping paper and spice packaging and yogurt lids and the inside wrapper of a Pepperidge Farm cookies and cigarettes and chip bag and <laughs> it's just a nice variety of silvers that are different textures and, and different brightnesses. In the beginning, I thought, just buy art supplies. But then I started thinking, why? Why would I buy art supplies? There's so much beautiful stuff out there that people are just throwing away. There is lovely packaging, and I could start painting with it. So all my work is the color it comes. So if you see a piece of aqua, it's probably a gum wrapper, or it's a piece of cigarette packaging. I can save the planet and then sew together little pieces of trash to make a pattern or a color or a texture. Some people like my art and some people hate my art. I mean, they can't figure out why you would be painting with trash. Look at this. They do this to make you buy it, but look how wonderful shiny it is. It's beautiful purple. I can cut out the blues in here. I can cut out the purple, the red, or the cream. This is... This is a lovely palette, and it's shiny. What's wrong? God, I love shiny. <laughs> I feel like a magpie. And I don't really want to be an advertisement for anybody, but I'm happy to cut up your, your lovely packaging. So see, you have all this gorgeous blue that's different colors. So this could be a nice piece of ocean, and this could be a nice piece of sunset. I have used both of these several times. They're in pieces of my art already. I go for walks all the time, and I pick up stuff. Parking lots are really interesting. You can pick up all sorts of wonderful things. I have enough people I know now that they just ship me odd things from all over the country these days. It's hard not to just think this is fabulous, right? I want to make something big out of it, but you only get little pieces of it. And so the beauty of what I'm doing is I can cut out little pieces of this and make something big. I loved making clothing, so I was going to make a kimono. So I thought, well, what could I make this out of that I have available? I had two kids living at home, and they drank a ton of milk, and all of their college roommates were saving milk jugs for me. And I loved the texture and the color and the iridescentness of a milk carton. Who knew a milk carton was iridescent, right? So I would just cut them up and make these one-inch squares and sew them together, and I ended up using almost a thousand milk jugs. I'm methodical because that's that's my background. I need to have the scientific, it's always the same, and that's how you get good results. Science isn't unlike an art form, but I needed the color and the texture and the tactileness of this. Gotcha. That's what I really like about the art. Ideas will come to me and I think about them and they sit and percolate and some of them take a while and some of them wake me up at three o'clock in the morning. Like characters in a book, they have their own personalities, their own life. They tell you what they're gonna be and they're everywhere. Science, nature, it's the sea meets the land and the foam that happens. I hate how much we're thrown away. It makes me insane. So this is my little part to save the planet. So I want you to look at my art and say, oh, wow, that's really cool. And then I want you to look closer, look a little deeper, look at it slightly different. And if I change your mind so that you take your reusable bags to the grocery store, I'm winning. I'm winning because all of us add up and make, make a whole. And so when all of us add up, we could save the planet if we just did one extra thing that was different.